<laughs> live, live, live. And that's how you live. Uh, one day at a time. This is uh this is uh in a perfect world. In a perfect really. world. Yeah. Hello, Flash. That's Flash and hey, I'm Vinny. 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 What's up, Vinny? So hey, y'all been uh, taking the taking a week to kind of contemplate things and decided to to uh, take off from well to stand down in, in a sense from a, a public presence and um, do some things that I've been needing to do some projects and study and when I do come back uh, I want to enhance the content that uh, I do bring uh, so that's kind of where I'm at Wow, man, I kill more partners than anybody on the radio. <laughs> Never mind. It was a joke. Yeah. yeah. I was be. kidding around. But it's so, not- hey, catching back up here uh, in the chat. You going to say hello to everybody? Hello, everybody. Hey, you bring You it. say hello, you, you and I'll say down. goodbye. Uh-oh. Oh, are you so, leaving you said- now already? What, you said it? Now you're going to oh. shut down? No, not just right now, but well, well then, kind of uh, a farewell. It starts farewell. at the top with barman and just keep going till you run out of names. All right, say barman. <laughs> barman and Grimner. Hey, Grim. Grimner is great, and so is Kate. Ah, and it rhymed. Yes, you. Rhymed. How about art? You like art? Art underground. Art un- underground art. I I Very find fresh. him a, a bit abrasive, sir. Yeah, he he seems abrasive. to get his nut by rattling others' cages. Just an observation, not a judgment. Does that does that remind you of anybody you know? You <laughs> <laughs> surprise! <Yeah. laughs> a strange reflection no, you I, have there. I I don't I don't see the comparison. To be honest with you, sir. No. Look at there's a wonderful person. Oh who? Circle. Hey sir. wife, how you doing? I, I, I'm I circle. I'm waving and for Chloe. You. She's over there crocheting on the couch. Hello. It's a, oh, crochet. It's a sea nice. night. Yep. Chloe is not listening because this is uh, not safe for work. Good. Because you got a potty mouth. I like to be Let's known see. by having a potty mouth so the little kids will leave me alone and not ask for candy. Mm, Go bug work. your daddy and leave me alone, Johnny. So Chloe's having a cyborg noodle soup, it looks like, with her biscuits. Homemade. Lovely. I like homemade biscuits. You know, I had uh, um, I, I made had Danish some. biscuits yesterday from my sister-in-law's. Really? Uh, There's so many ways to make a biscuit, isn't it? Well, yeah. Basically the Especially, same thing. It's yeah. Baked dough different. of some kind or another without no sweet What about if you go to it? England? That's a whole different biscuit right there. Not really. They just call everything a biscuit. They call cookies biscuits, and everything's a biscuit. Right? Yeah, sausage and I, rolled up in five eggs, it's a biscuit. <laughs> I had uh, tea one time in California, the job I was doing. Well, if you ever have tea in the England, lady came out it'll with be tea and biscuits. I go, wow, these biscuits taste like cookies. <laughs> yeah, they were cookies. But tea in England is yeah. dinner, you illiterate person, you. Non-travel. No, it's like a snack. It's a snack time. It's in between meals. What is dinner? No, tea? Oh, no, no, tea? no, tea. No, they call dinner tea. tea. Time. They are, nah. okay. Well, things changed since you've tea. been there. I'm telling you, this I've there never been there. Years. I have, and I'm telling you, tea is dinner. Well, what about the the time that you have tea and biscuits? That's not dinner. That's tea that's time. A snack. It's that's not a, tea. That's what I said. Are you coming tea around time. for tea yeah. means you're going to come around to eat. They don't ask okay. about tea uh, like I that, you crazy man. I don't know. We took a break and she brought out. <laughs> yeah. First time I ever had cream and sugar in, uh, in tea. How old yeah. were you? Uh, 20 something, young 20s. And you, really? And that was your first time with. Wow. I I never even thought of that as English. I'm style. from the I South. Yeah. Everybody we, drank we drink our, yeah. We drink iced tea in the South. Oh, yeah. I've had that sun tea. Oh, yeah. That's the bomb. The bomb. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Uh, we Don! were uh, down to D.C. Yeah, D.C. Uh, the comic, the uh, decoy man, and along with Echelon. Do you know the story about Echelon? No. 
No, 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 we'll, no we'll, idea. We'll dict it. We'll dict it right here in the uh, RLM chat. That's where we're at, you know. Yeah, this is where I'm at, sort of. We'll see how okay, how long on. I manage to stay there, though. <laughs> I might let's be, try that. Yeah, I might be. What do you call that? Excommunicated from the RLM for having a potty mouth. <laughs> There you go. That's what echelon <laughs> means. The formation of troops in which each unit is positioned successfully, successively, to the left or right. Oh, that's perfect, huh? Uh, of the rear unit to form an oblique or step, uh, what is that? Step-like step line? Step-like line. So, yeah. It's a formation of troops, right? I think it's got something to do with marching around in squares and shit. I'm not a military, so I'm just taking a guess. But I wouldn't gem just guess. You don't go to war and worry about if your lines are straight. Just a you know passing idea. Yeah, it kind of is relevant to uh, some of the things I've thought about over this past week in uh, reflection. But yeah, there but you are. Flash. Yes, that's what I was going to rag you about, sir. Continue. Flash somebody. Hello. Greetings, Gramps. everybody. Mary, Damn. how the hell are you? Is, oh. is she a flasher too? Ah, uh, no. Be to be no, a she's a too. dork. And there is Don. I B D on C. Hey, Don. Don. And yeah. Dread, Judge, and how about Hansel? Can, can you say hello in German? No. I can't say hello in English, so don't even don't well, don't try to get you me. You say to hello, hard. I'll say goodbye. Ah. I'll need to say. Ah, layer yeah. eight. Yeah, hey, layer eight. Woody, uh, Woody, brow, and the poxes only hey. two. A five and a phone. Oh, and a bucket of palm sauce looks Ooh. like. You know, I need to scroll. I How many people that. are listening? Four. Uh four. Hey, Maybe four six. people. Yeah, but somebody might listen later. Who knows? I don't know. You never know. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rain in uh, RLM Fluke. Yes. Do you have anything to say about Miss Fluke? No. She says I'm a I'm so sumptive of her gender. I don't, her. I don't. I don't get in all that sexist shit. Really? Nah, I got my You're parts. Sick. Cirque's got her parts. We work together. It's nobody. Nobody takes uh, you know the most important position role. And that works, eh? Like Rob? No, Rob no, uh, no, not like Rob works. More like uh, Flash works. Ah, Flash works. And Rome's and Skittle. Hey, Rob's at Skittle. And yeah, Vinny? So roadside. I see there, Vinny. That's, that's me with a plus. Oh, you know what? I was over there. I probably didn't get in on the Hex chat. I probably forgot to join. Uh, required to uh, forward slash join in space and then pound pound. Real Liberty Media, uh, and then a space, and then RLM. Uh, yeah. To get in, if if you're a friendly person and would like to come in to the chat. Ah, into the come chat. Come along at reallibertymedia.com. Where everybody and, is kind and wonderful. <laughs> and if they're not, they better be. Uh, that yeah, I think you're speaking of a phantom now. The <laughs> Maybe phantom. Maybe Aspo, too. Oh, no, not the yeah. phantom. Colfax 101. 101. Dakota. And grommet. You know what a grommet is? Yeah, it's a rubber ring you got around uh, another thing. Uh, there uh, you go. Yeah. There Java go. And Java Doctor. 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 Hey, Job. Job was looking for me. And Grimner and uh, uh, Judge Dredd. J. Dredd. Uh, Dreaded Hansel. So, hey, here I am. Hello. Oh, hey, and Wanataco has not been seen for about a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's making a a, a protest in uh, by withdrawing because of uh, some the uh, the bitter uh, bickering, I guess. You might call it. Made oh, a pretty good point, I think. I missed all but you that. You can come shit. back. You can come back, on Taco. Uh oh. Uh, that's all kind right. of where I'm going. Is to a kind of a silent observation why are, after, are, are after all of you great big brains fighting amongst yourselves again not me i oh, just okay. i see the uh, uh hypocrisy 
of what hypocrisy do you speak? Well, well, let's sir? get on. Let's get down past. Uh, we'll get to the end. Got JJ's Kozu. Oh, and hey, Sox Jay's. Up. Yeah, Jay's got booted off the the radio too, out in his Scottish way. Oh yeah. Yeah, they cut the service. I think if I got that right, Grim can scra- straighten it out if I screwed that up. But that's the way I understand it. His service ended. So it wasn't like he wanted to quit. It's just the way he was using it ended. Yeah. It's all I know. So if you're fans, he's still alive. He's just not plugged in and t- and playing music. That was a public service announcement from the dork table. All right. Let's see. Does that work? A coup d'etat it it. is yeah. never out of the question, sir. Never. See, I get voice uh, automatically when I sign in on the the Real Liberty Media, but coming in through the uh, free node, yeah, uh, hex chat, yeah, so, you got to uh, do that. You got to type that in there. Yeah. Do you miss mention yeah. anything else about where we're where we're going out to be listened to and all that nonsense, or are we done? We can get right to the argument tonight. No, uh, we got to say hi to uh, Kozu and Sock Puppet. Kozu and Sock Puppet. Yeah. Wow. And then there's the extra me, the, the guy Vinny? that's going to step down for a while. Yeah. Uh, I, I forgot to hit the join over there. Apparently, the heck, so. I don't see anything after sock except plain space. Mm-hmm. Or maybe that's mm-hmm. outer well, space, and I just don't know it's outer space. You know, there are there are, is a whole, 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 whole lot of uh, ways to listen. And uh, I'll tell you what, let me go. Uh, Move over to another. Yeah, window. okay. And there you go. Webcamradio.uk went down, and that was the source he was using to play his music. So he's kind of screwed for the moment till he replaces him if he if he does. I would assume. Yeah, because once you do yeah. this for a while, like you're saying, you're backing down for a bit. And yeah. You know, last week you asked me, "What do I want to do this for?" Basically, was your question, and. I think it's because it's entertaining, first off. And second off is this system is burning people out because it wears on your last nerve to do this week in and week out and and feel like you're not getting anywhere. So I'm going to keep trying until, you know, I change my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think uh, for me it's uh, weighing the responsibility and the content that uh, that's being brought forth and and uh, to have an accountability for it and try to uh, to deliver it in a, a, a fashion that can be received by other people. Uh, so a lot of times, you are I, received I, a lot of by other people don't know how to. They do not know how to to take me because uh, you know I talk to everybody and uh, even if somebody's wrong, especially if somebody's wrong in what they're saying, uh, and on purpose or accident, I want them to say more and more because. Hey, that's uh, the more you say, the more you're going to reveal, right? So, right, but that's always that online reveal for yourself, right? But that's always that online one-on-one bullshit that doesn't really change anybody's mind anyway. So, what do you? What's really got you rocked here, sport? Well, I've got more important than somebody's opinion. Somebody, yeah, nobody's opinion is influencing me with my own. Right, um, right. But why would so, an somebody be ask impor- me? Okay. Well, it depends on who it is. Yeah, right? but the word in itself is so overrated because people don't know what the fuck it really means. You can have an opinion all day, all night, and be correct, and it doesn't mean anything because an opinion is not based on fact or knowledge. It's like how you feel about the color blue is an opinion. Whoop, whoop. That's right. See, I'm not interested in yeah. in opinions. I've yeah. I've looked at the so so many opinions, and you know that's where it lands everybody uh, in the divide. Uh, right, because people you know, don't and, seem to have an awareness of the definition of the word to the point of holds no fucking value except to the person holding it. Everybody else thinks you're insane. Look at us. Oh, when I'm splashing my coffee or I'm banging on the table like a judge. <laughs> 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 oh. Order, order. <laughs> no, I got into the moment, man. No, I, no, it's I, twelve, twelve in the Ozarks. Yeah, is that coincidence or did you plan it, sir? Anyway, I just sat look at the clock. Yeah, now it's well, twelve thirteen. 
now do it's sequential. It, doing hey. the radio is a lot more fun with you than it is without you. Okay, being a, yeah. doing the solo but, shit. I wait, mean, let me finish though. It's just ramblings of a madman, right? In the end, entertaining as fuck sometimes. Sport, don't underestimate yourself. I do this for a laugh. You know, something to do outside of the norm because this is Denmark and not everybody speaks as good of English as you. Oh, that's a pretty good. So in a in a little bit of a way, I've used the radio as as a maintain tool to continue using English with people that speak it regularly. Yeah, that's my problem though. I don't speak English. So. <laughs> uh, certainly don't write it. Okay, well, honestly, it's American. Uh, okay. you know, it's, it's different. Do you want and, to? Take- you know, uh, we've in this new normal that I like the way Al calls it the postmodern world that we live in. <laughs> it is the new normal. Um, yeah, you know, all that stuff doesn't matter. You know, you can, you don't have to write or speak proper. You know, you make up your own new uh, system of talk and mashing and squishing words and all that sort of thing. So the, you know, the world is changing and. Um, we are, uh, we're, we're at a point where we can communicate, uh, around the world in real time with, uh, with one another. So to be able to do that, yeah, I've, uh, over the years, uh, a lot of, uh, I've looked hard at, uh, how to better communicate and, uh, I'm, I'm a slow learner, so <laughs> I, well, I'm still, no, you right. should have listened to the dork table a long time ago. Cause I tried to break it down for people like you bonehead. It's very simple. Here, are you sitting down? I am. Okay. Now, you don't even need paper and pencil for this. This will be easy enough for you to remember, Vinny. I, okay? I bought a new notebook yesterday right. for my birthday. Now, I'm going to give you the answer to everything. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. Just um, be just that's be willing. my motto. Yeah, just be willing to understand that there are idiots that make something that's none of their business a crime. There you go. Willing, yeah, I've always been willing to deal with that. Just for like 20 years, haven't had to. They don't like me no more. Hmm. Mm. Maybe you're the not talking to them. Is, no, I talk to them fine. But the policy is they don't, they don't put the bracelets on me no more. Yeah. Oh, there goes Hannah. She, Hannah's protecting Hello, us. Hannah. Yeah, she's protecting us from the evil guys out in the yard. <laughs> Very nice. I don't know. Uh, so tonight I snuck up is... on the dogs last night. Did you? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Yeah, it was raining, so I snuck up. Oh, in the rain. okay. I was gonna and say they, was, they, yeah, they smell, was, yeah, they were three of them laid up on the porch. They're they're friends and family, you know that mm. sort of dogs. Yeah. And I snuck up on them, and uh, I just bumped them. And he's like, "What?" And he looks up at me. Go, oh, oh man!" He jumped up and barked. <laughs> Okay, so now you're now you're gonna leave the interwebs behind for an an undisclosed amount of time, or do you have a goal? Or yeah. What kind yeah, of thread just, are you putting on uh, us with this walking out thing? Oh, uh, you know, um, learning to write is uh, is uh, I'm you know writing challenged English challenge, so that's uh, that's a definite. I got a couple of uh, good places here that uh, I found from uh, uh, Sherry Duvalli. Who was uh, the writer, the chief cook and bottle washer at uh, Readout News, and a friend. Uh, really enjoyed meeting her. I, I took a lot of good lesson from her because um, I just stepped out. You know, uh, people try to laugh at me that uh, oh, you know, you're an old reporter, that, uh, all this stuff, which uh, you know I find find amusing, and especially after they uh, <laughs> they quoted me and. And all that stuff. So, uh, that, uh, being a witness, you know, I reporting. What am I doing? I'm, I'm uh, went out and shot uh, video and uh, talked to people and um, you know participated in in uh, what's right. You know, on the pro side of uh, not having a corrupt government that can just come and kidnap you or kill you and and lock you away with without uh, due process and without bond. Uh, and stood for the Bundys. I, I uh, in 2014 when uh, Clive and Bundy says, you know, where are you, media? Well, I was right up there on stage filming them, and I said, I'm right here. You know, whether whether it's five or fifty or five thousand or however many um, 
people have ever listened, which I've had, you know, one YouTube video, but I don't, I don't monetize all that. It's real high. We don't have any monetization monetize. here. For, yeah. You know, real monetize. I, so. Well, look, it's my, it's my understanding of the situation on top of all the rest of it. Okay. You got the MSM working their asses off again yet with the hand in hand works of the government and all its agencies. So you're outnumbered from the fucking start. You barely have a chance. You barely have a voice. Okay. Be glad you got the attention you did get for what you did do. And a lot of people that did notice more than you would think, because I've posted Bundy stuff on mines and come back to it later and it got a hundred hits. I have a lot of work left to do on that, and uh, I would like to be able to put together uh, my experience and be able to do it you know, right. properly. And your experience, okay, now that's what I mean, is the truth is way different than what we were told through the Internet, the MSM and the news and all this other shit. The politicians, all the professional fucking liars got us first, okay? So you got to witness something, and that's Whenever you see it for yourself, it's it's never what other people told you it was. You know what I mean by that, right? Absolutely. I uh, met these people that are um, spinning the information that we get. Um, yeah. Some big big name people, you know, I talk to and uh, talk talk give a talking to some others as well. Um, it's almost four twenty. So, so all right. So what are you so are you are you after a bigger audience with this um, no. printed thing, or well, what's your goal about writing no. to be it's remembered setting, longer? Setting a record. Setting. Oh a record, yeah, the a written record. record. Well, what's wrong with the verbal record? Can that be altered too? Well, I've done a lot of uh, talking on over the last several years. Yeah. Uh, I've from what matters. I started what matters world worldwide and. Took a look at the world, floated around. It was a voyage of exploration, having a uh, a sense of uh, you know what it is out there, what what where we're at. We're in you know this environment and uh, you know, how how that works, and then seeing how we uh, interact one one another and and what are where are we common at, and then see how that spun off and used against us and in, uh, in our differences. So. so you're writing a positive book about how we get fucked over by them. No. Is that what you're saying? No. no? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm misunderstanding just, you then. What's what's going on? Oh, I, I, no. I'm saying compiling the records that uh, uh, over this last, uh, that you, well, a year and a half I spent on the road. And, uh, uh, so I want to have to go back to the beginning to start. Oh, that, so that's so why you're that goes that, back to uh, yeah. All the, man, I got video and photos, and I've got uh, a stack of notebooks that I hauled and accumulated and stacked one upon another as I or wrote as I rode around uh, the country. Yeah, so I got to bring all that together in one place and, and oh, be able to, so you want to okay, you want to condense yes. all this stuff, take out the nonsense, sure. and leave the meat behind, polish yeah. nice and pretty. Oh, okay, but you want to do it in print, not in voice. Yes, Mr. Big. Huh. That's that's uh, like humongous. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the red hat crap. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I've I'm, met I'm, them, yeah. and I've looked them in the face, Yeah. honestly. Yeah. And I, seen, I saw behind the mask, mm. and it is a mask. What did you see? And, and, okay, so you saw behind the mask. Kill that Ooh, duck. Kill that but duck. Kill that what duck. Is, yeah, fuck the duck. But what is... What does that mean in English, Vincent? I mean, I'm not really getting it. I know what you're talking about from history talking to you, but from this conversation, you're kind of confused. Literally. I mean it literally, and I mean it figuratively as well. Um, in Denver, for uh, for Bruce Doucette, it's uh, likely that uh, his he'll spend the rest of his life in prison because uh, he fought back and uh, did it wrongly and position himself in, uh, and allowed others to uh, move others and, and and to a place that was uh, you know put them inside this legal system and arrested they I, the FBI one of the undercover FBI guys he was uh, 
one of these uh, what they call constant uh, uh, continental U.S. continental uh, marshal, I believe is their title. He was the FBI. Uh, this redneck from down, I think it's from Georgia, looked like a Neanderthal, big old brute, and the typical uh, you know uh, jack booted type that you know likes to stomp on other people. So uh, that that's uh, uh, sometimes is. Uh, portrayed as these militia type or these uh, sovereign citizens are called and so forth. Uh, the, you know, some guys are like that. And then there's other guys that, uh, you know, have a, a real uh, due respect for what the uh, rule of law is supposed to be in, in, uh, in defending uh, the uh, the Constitution. You know, people like uh, Jerry DeLemis, who's uh, got several more years in federal prison, who wasn't even at the standoff. He just showed up to uh, maintain a buffer. To, to stand in the gap. And that's what I would said back then. I went to stand in the gap, you know, to, to be as a witness. Um, other people stood in, in different manners. And the importance of standing and, and being a witness uh, is because uh, of all the lies that we've, we now know how, how we're treated and how it's pumped out through the mainstream media. And you can't trust them. And I saw how they did it. But and there's still millions millions of people to this minute vincent that still prefer the government over you whether you were there or not doesn't interest them what they want is the official record so is that what you're challenging with your interest in writing is you want to leave a more official record than the official no. record <laughs> uh, i want to leave the record that uh, as i observed it and uh, and i certainly contrast it with uh uh, what's otherwise portrayed? We have an agenda from the uh, uh, extreme environmentalism uh, groups and uh, publications like uh, High Country News. Um, they're they're definitely you know they well to say they're conservative uh, is almost uh, oxymoronic because uh, I think the best con conservators are those people that utilize uh, resources and. And develop with their labor into something that is, uh, you know, capital in a sense, and uh, adds to to their livelihood or to the enjoyment of other people by the just the mere uh, creation in art, for instance. Uh, uh, I think some people are driven for for other for other motives, you know, than uh, altruism, and they're diluted. Uh, to the extreme, and it's and it's trickery. The Center for Biological Diversity uh, <laughs> it just outright lies to uh, change uh, lives and take lives and um, destroy production. Uh, that's talking about cows harming. Right. Let, the let land. me ask. Let me ask you a question or two. Why? So you know, I can at least participate in this, All right? Do. You, do you have any idea how many people in my life have not wanted to speak to me anymore because I was telling them the exact fucking <clears throat> truth about something? <clears throat> well, and compare that. I would, okay, but if you compare that to if I wasn't telling the truth, that's when people wanted to listen. And when I was telling the truth, that's where the resistance always came from because the um, truth is so much more harder to believe than anything you can just water down and filter well one's version of truth to, uh, to another is is not truth because it's all a matter of perception so right. it's not right. what you said it's how you said it that wasn't received and that's that's the art of bridging the gap we just uh, got another so paradox that. then well then well you're saying how it was perceived how it was represented there's a lot more that goes into both sides of that than that. You got so many demons to deal with when you're trying to think of something by yourself, you know? Because I've got my upbringing behind everything I do today started somewhere. So at some point when I was learning to walk and talk, I had these two people pushing me along so that I would learn how to do it. But how much of what I was doing was them and you know, what became of that is now me. So there's a lot of stuff that I say and do that in the back corners of my mind are my parents, but I don't know that because that's so long ago. Yeah, we, uh, 
We've okay. Now, hold on. All right. It, no. Now, Lock hold on. Biscuits. You got you got that far with me. Then then go with this, right? So if my folks had of instead of giving me the freedom to choose what I wanted to do, over what was instructed to do, like uh, church and voting and crap like that, who do you like? You can like anybody you want to like. Just think about who it is you like. There you go. Don't make your decisions on stupid shit. Think things through a little bit. So I did. Ruled out Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, <laughs> Halloween, National Voodoo Day. You know, you name it, and I didn't believe it. By the time I was there uh, are there old are enough real to Santa think. Clauses. Okay, no, real, Santa but Clauses. that see, I'm yeah. I'm going on that harpsichord fucking bullshit story that people feed children that don't have a fireplace, and Santa Claus comes down the chimney. Well, Isn't how if you live enough? third floor of an eight-story building he's not visiting you <laughs> you're exempt through regulation <laughs> now i think go, you need a shot of fairy dust now go to your school and go cry like a good little slave uh-oh patty bears pm beers just uh i, I got a notification popped up this <laughs> might be the end for anti-media i met patty out in bunkerville in 2014 mm -hmm. and uh, at the time uh, later on, I, I had her and um, Tom Lockavar as a uh, guest, and one being from the right and the other from the left, uh, Patty being the left. And uh, we walked through together. In the end, we was, uh, we was saying some of the same things. And uh, I think that's uh, the objective for direction, you know, that we should be headed and not, uh, not playing, uh, you know, my ideas are – an ideology is better than yours uh, because we probably most certainly find fault in others and should be able to find it in our own as well. Okay. And like, give me an example of where I should find fault in mine. In you? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, for radio, I would give you your fault is uh, uh, cussing too much because that stops uh, uh, a great amount of people from that's listen father that, again. that doesn't bother me any yeah it bothers me a little i can't tell no i've good. listened to myself cussing it does doesn't sound right when you sit on radio that to me listen well okay that's you then don't but, cuss yeah yeah cuss if, if that's the, see, there's good times to use a cuss word if you can okay if you can justify using reasons like that to avoid a truth because it's not delivered in a you know pretty little piece of paper no. with, you know, that, gold that makes label it on problem, it. Though, right? No, you're not no, 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 no. You're no, not delivering no. it. That's what I was talking about a while ago. You're no, delivering I'm not Was after that. I'm, well, if I mean I'm if that's about. what you're after. Well, I'm not, though. You, you want to deliver a... You said Vinny, you were, you're, you're, you're the one telling three. me tonight, you're going to walk away from radio so you put your attention on writing because you want to be a writer instead of a radio. I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a writer. I, I hate it. And it doesn't come to me naturally at all. It's okay, made some what, what am I misunderstanding then? Well, it's it's kind of like an obligation and a duty. If I uh, intend to, uh, you know, as I did, as I went, my purpose was to to be a witness, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I accomplished that. I mean, uh, officially even <laughs> on the on the witness list at the Bundy trial, and uh, as bearing witness in media, they're even being quoted. Uh, and even my v uh, video even used by some other news never have been able to track that back down I was up in Salt Lake City I used my video and I suspect uh, uh, elsewhere other things too but, uh, yeah so uh, if I'm saying that these guys are wrong the mainstream media yeah. um, I need to be able to to do it proper, right? To to write it if I'm going to be making a, a better record. Oh yeah, know, to, see, uh, yeah, you're taking me way serious, like maybe a like some like I'm some kind of a state state minded person, you know. I'm along for the ride. I'm doing. I do this for a giggle. Have something to, interesting to do. Sometimes this stuff's funnier as fuck too, you know. But to think that. Uh, People will shy away from somebody speaking because they, they swear is insane. <laughs> you know, these are the same people that go to a doctor and get a shot or take a pill. So 
No, I'm not going to let them judge my bad words against their blatant ignorance of reality. So, you know, if you want to get into a pissing contest about language, I judge myself by the life I live, not the words I speak with about the life I live. Oh, absolutely. This is, uh, this is just the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. This, who, who's going to fucking believe this? The stuff that happens to me I talk about is like... It's got to be made up. Some lunatic living in a mountaintop somewhere is just talking, talking, talking. Because it's too good to be true. I even know that. And I'm the one saying it. So I don't expect anyone to take any of this serious. Well, I have an expectation of seriousness. Yeah, right. I, I also like, uh, I enjoy the uh, the punch and counter punch sometimes with uh, the, the people that would... Uh, you might say it as opposite. Oh, so you're taking and off of RLM and the whole thing. You're just going to. Yeah. Oh, it said you quit right now. Take, you yeah, just quit uh, the. You know chatting internet. with us? Oh, we're going to miss you. What will we do without you? Know, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch for a while. Oh, you're going to stay. Yeah. How are you going to come yeah, on? Because, huh? You're going to no. sneak on under a, an assumed IP? Oh, well, there's many Vinnies, you know. Oh, but no, well, still I know it's you. I, be. I don't get it. Oh, you know, I will be. You're like a girlfriend that won't leave now. You're telling me it's over, but I'm sticking around, fucker. I'm going to watch everything you do. What? Uh, <laughs> yeah. What are you, getting a job with the NSA? CIA, FBI, what, what, what? Mm-mm, no. Oh, man. <laughs> My internet oh, you're Okay, you're back on. It says has joined channel. Mr. Vinny R. Vinner, uh, Vinny Earl. Oh, there I am. I'm, I'm back. Yeah. Uh, I had a spurt there. Well, you drive you me see, nuts you had with to this. Say, you had I do to not, say FBI. Yeah, but I do uh, not understand if you're going to be lurking and then ignoring me when I speak to you. or What What the hell are you saying you're going to do? I don't Just, know. I don't know. I have wow. no idea. Have you been taking Just drugs? <laughs> I was are you under? The mud. Are, are you under any prescription medication? I, I drive uh, real slow around the driveway. I'm an ex excellent I, driver. I haven't been to driver. a doctor in years. The hey, last we, doctor I saw was my sister. <laughs> how's President Rain Man doing? Is he still? Is Ooh. he still making America great? President Rain Man. Uh, oh, I think it's awesome and uh, huge and all that. Yeah, is that shit? Vinny Boyer. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Grimner. Wow. Well, anybody like that feature. Yeah. Well, anybody that has any money right now will tell you the money. What money? <laughs> hey, you got people going around trading in money. <laughs> oh no, they're talking about Hillary. Don't say anything bad about Hill Dog. She's the dog. I wonder if she's even still alive. I haven't seen a. I haven't seen anything live on Hillary in a, over a year. All I've seen uh -huh. is memes and pictures and threats and all kinds of nasty, dirty things. But She's not, probably not consuming one baby blood and having uh, stem cell transplants and yeah. uh, spirit cooking and all that other stuff. Have you stuff ever tried any could... of that stuff? No, I never have. Sounds then why are you not extremely it? evil? Maybe it works. No, you got to I have no doubt. I have no doubt soul? that they gained some power out of that. Well, maybe they wouldn't even want your soul. They go, "Hey, Redneck, get you're not a Clinton. Get out of here, Redneck." I don't. Maybe have a they soul. wouldn't even want I you. I am a soul. If you were willing to drink their baby blood and you know do all that weird circling the dead skull stuff, what if you got rejected? They go, "Well, no, you're you're not quite our type. <laughs> Thanks for applying." <laughs> well, I mean, you can get up there like go oh, uh, McCain. I, there's no doubt that he's. Uh, his head's at least frozen. Cryogenics. Wow. You know, the, they no. says, I, I, I've i got cancer and I'm going to be dying soon. And then. Uh, yeah. And uh, all that money. I got yeah, to the a, end. What a crack of shit. All that money. And, and he's got cancer. It's a poor man's disease. People get get Wake up. Well, it's, you know, you, scam, you have a uh, oh, hey, fucking bay. How old was he? He was old, right? I don't know, 70, maybe 75. So maybe he I'm was not going to Google it. I don't want that shit on my hard drive. Right. That'd be yeah, like yes. porn on my hard drive if I Googled don't John McCain right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 1,300 uh, people. 
Still what? missing? Wow, yeah. Florida? Oy. <clears throat> yeah, see, and they, they deny any of this. You know, they don't tamper with the, the weather. Ha, ha, ha. You know, controlling the weather isn't even the issue with me. It's interfering with it. That's what they lie about, blatantly lie. They do all these experiments on us and shit like we're lab rats, and then when you confront them about it, they say, "Oh, well, you're a conspiracy theorist, nut job. That's, you don't, you don't know what you're talking about." It's all well about. documented. Do, fuck. Well what good does that do? Well documented. That's why I, you know. I mean, there's no excuse to deny it. Is what I'm saying. There's no excuse but how to do you, deny. Yeah, but that, how do you tell somebody? Uh, yeah, they're, they're using the geoengineering you know, in the world about us. You know. Well, there's no what denying. Effect? Yeah. There's who's, no who's denying. Doing? Jesus Christ, Vince. There's no denying. There's no constitution, but people use it every in their words. They talk like it's a live document. Don't know any better. Twenty year. I mean, it's almost twenty years into this shit since the Patriot Act. Twenty years. Can you imagine? Almost. Yeah. Wow. 17. It's close. <coughs> it's closer me. to 20 than it is to 10. Uh, but still, fuck. Even you do it. I don't know. Maybe you do it. But I hear I hear it in you, too. As though that this document that we were all raised on, is <coughs> was, it, it was real once, but it's not been real for 150 years. And there's well, documentation to prove that. <coughs> Nobody will fucking pay attention to that. So I don't give a fuck anymore. And you wonder what, you know, crying out loud. You want to leave a record for what? There's a record of everything. Every lie that you can imagine has been told. <laughs> well, all you got to do I, to fix all this shit is stop fucking lying. And it would unravel itself, use the proper stuff to keep us alive. It would not greet out right away. Well, people don't understand because their their natures have been perverted. That's what I think. Absolutely, yeah. We've got all yeah. types of interference and uh, yeah. living okay. a natural harmonic life for sure well yeah but you cell, take it, cell you take it and... okay but you take it with me as verbiage wow when i think about it because the only time anybody ever gets mad at me in this life outside of my wife who's living with me you know all the time is somebody on the internet in real life i haven't had an argument or a disagreement in years i ain't get mad nobody at you. Well, you know what I mean. That's disagree. Yeah, like there's, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, if not uh, mad at me, but you, uh, opposite you, sides. Yeah, certainly. Well, that's a voluntary engagement. Yeah, so it ain't for everybody. Gonna, yeah, but now you're gonna walk off and hide behind your little names and shit. Oh, I just I'm confused. Take time to uh, do some stuff that uh, that I need to do and want to do. And, uh, do a improvement on myself as well, you know. Wow. And plus, like, some projects to do. So I just kind of like a just a, a standing silence. For, standing silence. Yeah. Okay, if you say so. Kind of. You know, it's anti-revolutionary. You know? Hmm. There's never going to be a revolution. What kind of crap are you thinking now? I sport? I don't want Back a revolution. You know. Nobody wants one. There's never. There, it's not designed to have one. It's only designed for war. You can have another civil war, but you're not going to have a revolution. This, no. this game ain't going anywhere. It's death, 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 death. <laughs> the only Except way to kill this game is to stop the global shit and end it. No. You can't, people, just, uh, people you can't go to that perfect world. I know. No people are too greedy portal. to stop it. Hey, I was reading before the show, right? Uh, somebody did something, blah, blah, blah. The Saudis, this, that, the other. Oil, $400 a barrel. <laughs> Punishment, USA. <laughs> That'd be a lot. Uh, yeah, but old Boo Boo was uh, swearing he was going to get ten dollar a gallon oil, or ten dollar, yeah, ten dollar at the pump gallon oil, and never did, never even came close. Hit about three, I think. So, well, he was an underachiever. He talked a good game that there fella, but he never really ten dollars a gallon nothing. for gasoline. Gasoline, or $10 yeah, a barrel. yeah. No, gallon. Ten dollars a barrel is about all it's really fucking worth. But uh, no, it was trading for the low was thirty. Now it's trading at eighty. I think Grimm's had it up at eighty. But if it goes up for five times that, which they're projecting, it'd be four hundred dollars a barrel. And then and you're 
Now you're talking. Does it pump even ever prices. hit two hundred dollars a gallon a uh, barrel? I mean, I don't know. I've never kept up with the price of oil. I don't really care, but I don't think it has. I don't see how it could have been possible. But the way they manipulate these markets is well. That's a that's a story for somebody else. I just know they do it. Explaining how they do it is not my strong point. <laughs> But we're all being screwed, all of us, at the same time. And you know what? People like it. What? They go, oh, please, can I have some more oil? <laughs> they don't know how easy it would be to replace oil with hemp. Okay, it, say six months, <sighs> a year. A year at the outside if you lived out in the middle of nowhere. But uh, the world needs a... A reset and it ain't going to get what it needs. It's going to get more war. War! So invest heavily in lawyers, guns, and money. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's, Somebody uh, owns the money. If you're smart, you invest in the money. It's they, God. It's guns, oil, and drugs. Drugs. Right? And, nah, well, see, there again, drugs. All the fucking drugs that they sell, prescription medications and injections and inoculations and all that crap they sell legally is 90% more than what they sell globally illegally. It's a lot. Yeah, so you got like 6 billion people on this planet walking around in a fucking stupor on some kind of fucking drug made in a laboratory. It's not the same as marijuana. Don't let these wankadoodles fool you. It's different. Very different, sir. It and smoking will make your lungs black. I'm looking here at but, uh, OPEC, the highest price of uh, oil. Over They're saying here it was 70 to $80 a barrel. I thought it was higher than that. No, uh -oh. it doesn't need to be. It shouldn't be. It so, should be down like 10 It's worth Well, five, I don't know what it is right now. Garbage. It's, uh, it's just, uh, mm -hmm. They need 40 to $50 a barrel to pay the high-yield bonds they use for financing. Yeah, and this and that's is just all. wait. Yeah, the but that's financing, the, that's that. That's just Go the ahead. money game. When you get into the refinery game into America, you only got like five refineries in the whole country. Because they made the, the EPA made them, uh, what do you call it? They regulated the shit them out to get rid of them. So you um, would have very few places you could refine your oil to make gas out of it. <laughs> it's a scam. You're being fucked. Yeah. Just lay down here's, and say, oh, Uncle Sam, can you visit somebody else? Here's $106 a barrel in uh, West Texas in 2014. So that was high. Here's 109 in 2013. Uh, let's see if I see more. Any. What, did you open the crude oil prices? You yeah. opened that link? Oh, okay. I did. There's 118. Grimner posted so, the link that Vinny's reading from. But still, uh, yeah, there it is. I'm gonna close it out. Okay, well, so um, where where's the information that specifically says they're definitely? Is this another one of these fucking threats they play with you, or is this the truth? Four hundred dollar a barrel fuel coming to you? Uh, you know they sell um, uh, what's called uh, futures. And, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. You're betting on, you know, that uh, if you can buy in at a certain price, that it's going to, of course, you were hoping for a very big payout when the market goes up. Um, so that I've seen I've seen at times where they hype it and I, I've heard this uh, $200 a barrel. So not even seen 200 and then to be saying 400. And of course, that's uh, that's a big hype up. But it probably uh, have effect in manipulating the market and stuff on some people to an extent. And, uh, <laughs> it depends on how much it's played up in other places that, uh, because they, uh, contract and, uh, then expand the, the money supply and by the inflation, you know, the, the interest and all that, it's just all the trickery involved in all that. Uh, those people on the inside know which way to, to bet every time. Well, the baffling part about it is still going to always be with me is if it only takes 5% of the population to make a shift in a society, where's the, where, where's the 5%? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm sorry. I 
was reading when you said that. Grimner said it went to over 170 a barrel for a short time. Yeah, for a short time, but it went back down, and he didn't put a date up there. Thanks, Grimner. Mm. Whoa. But it, it's still markets and shares and all this crap that we live with, all this garbage and waste and pollution and shit because they chose to use oil instead of hemp. Period. Doesn't you can't uh, you can't go any deeper hemp to replace all the uh, um, all the need that's uh, coming from oil right now. Well, I'll it's, tell you what. Not- now I'll tell you what. Half of the fucking need is incidental crap that the government's wasting on military and f- shit going to the outer fucking space nonsense. That's the whole fucking point. Why don't you guys quit fucking us around, quit lying, and pay attention to the planet you're fucking on, and stop with your stupid games. Well, because too many people believe the games more than they believe the truth. I saw this, uh, I can't recall the name of it right now, but I was watching the uh, old, well, I don't know how old it was, but it's not recent, a movie anyways, and had a little different uh, uh a view on the revolution, as it's called, and it was everybody's just all online, and uh, they didn't want to get, un- you know, be disconnected, just become, you know, useless eaters and live to fifty and take less benefits and paying more profits and, you know, being mined or farmed. Wow, oh, they even got you saying that useless eater shit, huh? Uh, no, I'm just saying what they're representing. Well, they created this mess, this government nonsense. It's all done on purpose. Thank you, Gramner. He oh, said he meant 160 a barrel. Oh, crying out loud, Gramner. That's so fucking much anyway. It's not believable. But it's the 400 a gear. Is that a threat they're making, or is this something that's real? How do you know anymore? Well, who said it anyways? I thought Grimnir did. That's why I asked him specifically if it was just fear porn or if it was real. <clears throat> Is this really happening? Somebody Excuse threatened Saudi it's, Arabia, and their response is oh, from uh, that five deal? times, five times up, you know, on the present whatever you're paying for oil, which is eighty, we would put it at five hundred. Oh, so this goes to the uh, to the uh, Turkish journalist that was uh, uh, accidentally killed during uh, interrogation techniques that uh, somehow went awry. <laughs> Maybe when they cut his head off or something, and his <laughs> arms and legs and carried him out the back of the restaurant. I don't know, but uh, oh. Oh. pretty much a given when you go to them extremes, though. Yeah. Hey, let's do one of those things with your um, defining a word situation, right? And I wanted to, I wanted you to define the word terrorist, and the reason I want to do that is. The word terrorist is a government word. I can't be a terrorist to you, but I can be a terrorist to your government. Intimidation and dread. Mm. But so they've re... Okay. The original definition of the word involved being a threat to a sitting government. Since those days... They've they up you know they changed the definition around to suit what they want you to believe it is. Whoever they are that write these fucking definitions and shove them down their throats. Oh, you know no, why no. I say that? You know what I see a lot of everywhere on all over the internet is the hating the Muslims um, memes. Memes you call them memes, right? Still, yeah. a memes a meme. Right. Well, yeah, but I mean you know. Uh, it's one thing to have a, a dislike for a country or lie out like me. I have a dislike for the English speaking countries the most. And being as I speak English, I think that's my right to say, to say that <laughs> the people, people I've left behind and, and, uh, am related to don't, they didn't think I had a right to talk like that. <laughs> kind of ended my Facebook career, if you know what I mean. Well, dog, now that um, yeah. I'm trying to do this here. Hmm. Fear, do intimidation, this. and dread. I, I uh, Rob was, works. Uh, hey, Rob. Gr- uh, Rob was going to back you up. I thought I thought you were going to flake tonight, so I I had a backup post and just in case you ditched me, Mister. <laughs> yeah. I, if I was not going to show up, I'd all right. 
I think I I would tell you I'm gonna leave. No, I understand what you told me. It came to me in a flash. I can say it in one sentence. What you're gonna do by this backing off the internet crap, right? I'm gonna say it in Vinny words. You're gonna retire from the argument, and you're gonna get into moderating. Me moderate. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I've uh, done a lot of moderation, I think. And, and, and that's actually, the way I, I took what you said. Yeah, you got a correction. It's I'm a, your life. I'm going to actually moderate myself, self-moderate. Was I close? Uh, well, I mean, there's many uh, many things you could say that would apply. Yeah, I mean, all part of it. Certainly. Hmm. Are you looking to retire from the argument, though? Mm-mm. No, I'd hate I'm to give up the argument. Taking a break, wow. Taking a break, and that way I have no duty or obligation uh, elsewhere, and I'm gonna uh, focus on some things that I need to do. Uh, like you I got said. a time limit on it? How long you're gonna invest in this before you consider it a success or not? Until I just done, I guess, or do something different. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm it's, gonna read a no, I don't I'm gonna re- yeah I'm gonna read a I quote off the RLM. Now, regarding this gas thing, I believe this is to us. Grimner says, If U.S. sanctions are imposed on Saudi Arabia, we will be facing an economic disaster that would rock the entire world, he wrote in an op-ed. If the price of oil reaching 80 angered President Trump, no one should rule out the price jumping to 100 or 200 or even double that figure. Oh, so this is all, they're just, they're priming the pump. They they have already yeah. know what they're going to do. That's, These guys all sit around a big table and plan this shit and then laugh at, oh, let's watch them dance over here for a day or two. And then we'll watch them dance over there for a day or two. So, uh, you know, you wonder, uh, on sources, you know, what? like Press TV and uh, RT, uh, all that, you know, they're all uh, slanted to, uh, hey, I got a message from Circle. They're slanted <laughs> for a reason. I've been looking for a writing. I'll have to uh, read it later, certain things. She's writing. <laughs> she's, a, she's a writer. She has a, She's an artist. We have. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A, yeah. yeah. That's our uh, brother and sisterhood uh, I'm a thing. scribbler she, myself. That's what makes us that, in a sense, how we uh, connect. Artists are cool people, man. Well, still, this is just... Um, or, that, or sick that, and <laughs> twisted. Well, <laughs> this is still just that political posturing, threats, financial threats. If you do this, we'll do that shit. And probably they're already planning around how to how are they going to get this without that blah 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 yeah. blah 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 yeah yeah well now how I, many people I are going to go them. jump off and go buy some futures in the oil saying yeah man that's going to go up yeah. maybe these people uh have some interest in the price of oil right and how much money they make <sighs> yeah back to all that money we can make yeah sure mm. okay I don't know. I can only wear one pants at a time. So, it doesn't really you know, work they for me. Write in the media, what they do, they write to uh, influence people, their yeah. decisions. Well, okay, so how are, are your writings going to influence people's decisions and about what? Oh, it's not about that at all. I just want to put it all together. I, I went and did all this. I need to... Uh, put it all together and oh yeah Grimner, um that video i uploaded it's not there uh, i guess i need to go in and change the uh the title in my uh Uh-oh. in the directory to be able to it must have been another somehow the same title of a another video off of uh let's see where i do- oh, i downloaded that off of facebook so yeah anyways i'll redo that i, I have a lot of video that uh, i shot that i haven't uh that you know, it's not even been produced yet to to public. That uh, a lot of it needs to be uh, edited because I just let you know let them. Uh, for some, sometimes I let the video just roll and roll and roll. Uh, like yeah. when uh, what I did to Channel Eight, I told them you better you better record all this to air. I said I, I, I called them out on how they used their <laughs> edit. Uh huh. 
<laughs> and you know what? They took my challenge, and and they did, and I I have it downloaded. So if it ever goes away, ta da! Yeah, well, see, yeah, I don't want to play that. That's I did. that. Okay, I still like I listened. I, did. To, I went and did what I intended. I to. understand you did, but I wouldn't do that for the love of um, peanut butter. No, thank you. you I'm it. more low key. I don't like big groups of people. They make me sweat. You know, large groups of people are the opposite of what I want in life. So, yeah. Mm. But Grimner, the reason. The reason yep. I'm going to always do this, though, is to laugh at crazy people like you that do what you do. Really? That's... Oh, hell yeah. Are you kidding me? You guys out there in the world reporting what you do, you know, back to us poor folk that don't have a life is, uh, it's, it's important shit. See, and the difference between you and, say, Fox News is I know you. You know, mm. if I think you're kind of bullshitting me about something, I just go, hey, Vinny, are you are you rubbing me on this one or what? Oh, I'll you, do that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, please. I know that. That's what I mean, because you're a bullshit man. But uh, like how when you're serious, there's something to it. I was listening to Hal the other that first 10 minutes of his show Sunday just knocked me off my, <laughs> sh- my seat. Cause he he came up with his own way to say that. You know, he knows we're not where he's at, but his tone and some of the ways he speaks sometimes made me think, wow, you know, I can't do what you do, Hal. There's just no way. And but he came out and said, hey, yeah, I know you a lot of you guys. But what you do need to do is a part of it. Okay, and that's different for each of us to be a a part of what if whatever it is he's talking about. You you know, I get. Uh, so much from how I've been listening mm. for many, many years. Right, but uh, you understand how more clearly than most of us do for some strange reason I can't figure out, but I recognize. Well, we all have our part to play, so, I mean. Mm. Uh, yeah. But but for I'm for just me, saying... you know, it, it was to go uh, <coughs> and, you know, make this observation and, re- and report because uh, I, I saw – what was historical? I knew when I went to Bunkerville in 2014, uh, this this was the first time uh, that it had ever been, you know, anything to me. But so many people were coming and saying that, no, it's not okay just because you say so, government. Uh, whether Clive and Bundy be right or wrong uh, in the the mani- manipulated uh, legalese process that they've uh, pushed everybody through to push them out of uh, and off the land. And that's pretty obvious to see uh, the, a lot of the hows and, and the whys that uh, that, that all uh, come about. Uh, that video I was talking about was the one with uh, Carol Bundy and uh, Jeanette Finnicum up in uh, Sandy, Utah that, uh, uh, in their speaking engagement. But anyways, I'll, that's some other stuff that I'll be rectifying and working on is uh, – um, you know where uh, the videos putting these videos back in then over to uh, to YouTube at the Real Liberty Media YouTube channel, and adding to that and uh, and, I, and also there's some that uh, like I said is real long that uh, I want to go through and find some specifics and also there's a couple of things that I uh, actually in, uh, will uh, omit and because uh, uh, some things in controversy uh, I don't care to to promote even though I. Sometimes have a little thought to have a little fun in, in uh, attempting to do so, which was uh, that was a yucky deal <laughs> hmm. <laughs> trying to play this uh, poop war. But uh, yeah, Why? Uh, almost a, almost a funny story. Well, I was trying to show the ridiculous in it, and then um, yeah, it never comes suck. across that way though. Yeah, <laughs> even if you <laughs> know. Oh, well, here, you know what? I don't. Uh, I don't support any form of government whatsoever, and I've had a page on mines for a long, long time, and the only government information on my page right now is the thing from Ryan Bundy for governor of Nevada. Mm-hmm. You know, and I didn't, I, I didn't do it because I expected it to, you know, get a lot of attention, but it got a little attention, a little mm-hmm. small amount, which was better than I thought because I don't even follow him to know. But I figured out I'll put it up 
up and see if other people recognize it. So he's yeah, not that, completely invisible. I mean, people recognize he's out there. Well, now that they play the political game now where they're, uh, they're uh, uh, saying that he needs to uh, step down and let the votes go over to the Republican to beat out the Democrat, you know, instead of pulling that small, small percentage, just enough, you know, to split it. And, and that third party candidate thing is uh, um, and the wasted vote, you know, this and that type. Oh, of yeah, whatever. It's part of the game. Time. Yeah, but the the problem lies in you know the voting system itself because it it allows for that uh, to to happen by default. You know, if it was uh, if you voted for a hundred people and you know then you have to narrow it down. Who's your second, third, fourth, fifth vote or whatever on down the All line? Right. So are then you saying will... are are you saying your system is flawed? My system, I've never the, voted. The voting system is flawed. Our Absolutely. system, whatever you Absolutely. want to call it. Yeah. Then, and the, the, the bigger the vote, the bigger the flaw. <laughs> then you must realize that you're like the, the hair on the min minority of the game, right? There's like four people that believe what you just said. And you're talking to one of them on the radio. Hmm. Most people that you will encounter in real life have a stake in this fucking shit, staying just the way it is, in the hope that it'll get better. Because they don't know anything else. They don't understand what being self-reliant is. They think it's a financial thing. <laughs> it's it, We've been handed a, you know, a lifetime full of bullshit to judge and base our decisions on today. And breaking out of that... I. I don't know. I never got into it, so I didn't have to break out of anything. But I've never been popular with masses of people because of the way I live. Oh, are you crazy? You don't want a government? You don't vote? Oh, you don't have a driver's license? Everything I didn't have that was part of their fucking system turned out to be a strike against me for not having it. I was never looked at for, oh, at least you're free of this shit. It was always... Well, you're the fucking asshole that won't work with us to make this work. You you know what I'm getting at or not? Yeah. Well, uh, it affects us where where it does and where we are uh, where we allow it in many instances, and uh, that's a that's what I a big take I get from from Hal is uh, where where I'm placing myself. It kept me, you know, where some people by their words. Uh, place themselves inside of uh, acclaimed authority by these uh, federal federal folks here. Well, look at they, how we treat each other. Right. But look at how we treat each other on a personal level. And then by the person's behavior, you can usually figure out where they stand on authority. And uh, would that be from words or actions or both? Words. Well, you don't have any actions in the internet world. That's just Des is reading shit on a on a screen, and if it can change your thinking pattern, I wow, because you read it once. Okay, there's things I had to read a few times before it actually I could be convinced. Nah, because my first instinct was, nah, this this ain't the government I grew up with. And then as time went on, the more I saw what I was reading, the more of it I saw, the more convinced I was that, wow, yeah, I was fucked over by these people. And admitting that was the hardest part. Well, that and brought silence. And then Nothing, I'm just That's looking right. back on, I'm yeah. just looking back on how it happened. I don't know. I, don't, I couldn't tell you what day it happened. It's, it's so not one, that clear of a thing, but. What I'm comparing it to is somebody else that holds the exact opposite of value that I do towards these entities usually abandons me. I get removed from their situation. They don't want me around anymore after a period of time. Because Talking about people or entities? Relatives, friends, enemies, people, and you name it, all of it, the whole thing. If you're not for it, it knows you're again it, and it creates so, problems for you amongst your peers. You're not free to not be a part of this nightmare. 
If you openly condemn fucking society and call it out for what it truly is, you lose a lot of friends real fast. Well, again, uh, presentation. Uh, uh, I think uh, we, if we intend to convey information, then we should have the responsibility to try to do it in a more better way. Huh? More better? Okay. What's the best way to tell somebody that the, the money that they're living on isn't even their money? Where do you go with that? Well, well, all it's going to do is generally it's somebody say, to... "Give me all of yours, then." If it's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that, it, but it is shit. So what? What do it's you give them? Right, but we've been brainwashed through our our actions and our belief systems to see this shit in a way that's not true. Hold on, I couldn't quite reach. Well, are you still typing while I'm ranting about something? No, I'm trying. I'm just, to I'm just pointing out the mister, the purposeful got... misdirection done to us as a collective. Okay, and there's no recourse. You can't fight these people in court. They own the courts. There is no constitution in an admiralty court. So there you go, right out the door. <coughs> You're already screwed by by engaging <coughs> it. Well, who in their right? Who is going to? Who's? It's even worse if uh, you know if you're battling back, um, and, and that's uh, I mean being demonstrated. The aggressors has been governmental agencies and you know, hidden under you know alphabet names and uh, attacking people and uh, one by one and and felling them because they have such great resources to. Uh, uh, campaign war. I wasn't it's even going that, that far piece. with it, Vinny. Yeah, I was just talking I mean, about the the misdirection of telling a, a a simple man that doesn't have an education that he has a constitution to protect him. Blah 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 blah. And then as he grows up, he doesn't know his ass from his elbow. And when he's arrested for something, then he finds out there's no such thing as fucking rights. They don't still to this day the. The Patriot Act wiped all that out. It put it on a back burner. Why do people not know they have no fucking rights right now? I don't get that. Well, more people are, are becoming aware because a lot of people are speaking up. It's been 18 uh, years. How loud does you got to speak? Oh, uh, you got to just keep ringing away, I guess. Wow. Try to, no, try six, to 16. What, 16 or 17? Change. No, 17 years. If they don't answer the dinner bell, try to... A different tone, I guess, for tea. Well, okay, and Dry what were these? Time. What were these people absorbing for the seventeen years prior to? Hey, what? <laughs> biscuits. You know what I'm getting Think at. Think of not? it as biscuits, okay? Can you imagine yeah, but, the words that you'd want to consume or somebody else to consume? You want them to taste good, right? Yummy, yummy. There's all uh, types of biscuits. All kinds of ways to make Okay, it. well, I don't get where you're going with biscuits, but what has that got to do with being fucking lied to as a, as a person by the system that you live under and no recourse to fight back with? None. You're screwed. Because some biscuits taste better than other biscuits, and that's what people are eating <laughs> is these words, see? <laughs> yeah, because I do. Think of it as biscuits. Yeah, yeah. Any well, words. What would, it be it like, what would it be like in a perfect world if to, to not deal with this kind of shit? We wouldn't have any shit to deal with. Maybe the, the threat of boredom is why people choose dishonesty over honesty. Hmm. I mean, if you want an exciting life and you want to really have some fucking fun, hey, why don't you go out and tell a few fucking lies? Because if you go out and tell a few truths, nothing happens. <laughs> Yeah, unless they're personal attacks. Hey, those pants make you look horrible. Don't wear those in public anymore, dear. <laughs> that could bring rain. <laughs> yeah. Did your five-year-old apply your makeup for you this evening? <laughs> Very nice. Hey, the truth hurts. But, I mean, you know, who's, who's really going to go out there and speak it? And that's the way people think of truth, not... Hey, we got fluoride in the water, and it's not good for us, huh? Why? Well, because these cheating, thieving, fucking politicians and lawyers saw a way to make money and get rid of the dump 
you know, instead of dumping this, just feed it to us. <coughs> There's a definition of fluoride as toxic waste. So, if there's toxic waste in your fucking water and you're sitting there talking about you got a constitution, there's obviously a light bulb missing on your board. Something's not connecting here, people. Well, if now I'm got starting to, uh... Uh, I'm adopting the moose way. <laughs> Takes that was the, engage. That was the engage moose people. girl in me. Yeah, well, maybe so, but I mean... So some with... people do that. They, there's people that, you know... Um, can't kind of concentrate their their efforts into uh, certain projects like the you know like March Against Monsanto, uh, you know the uh, let's say the where, where's that water at up there that's Flint, Michigan, you know that's all full of the right. The stuff. And, and to me, it's pitiful that these people have to march about anything in the first place yeah. because yeah. if they weren't lied to, they wouldn't be where they're at. So. Instead of cleaning it up with some honesty, no, let's just rewrite a few laws and change some numbers on a chart and keep them sick and stupid. And I feel that I'm tired of being experimented on like a lab rat in a cage. Everybody else, ah, eh, shut up. <laughs> what are you complaining about? <laughs> What's wrong, um, man? You know? There's a... Wisecrack over on YouTube and their uh, website and Twitter, and a big shout out to uh, Skater Dude Dave. Skater uh, Dude Dave. Yeah, uh, okay. he's a screenwriter, and uh, what I'm finding very interesting in, in uh, examining this topic in, in a particular way of uh, telling uh, the story, and it that is uh, a big manipulator of uh, you know these questions that you have of you know these why do people uh, you know believe what they believe and it's because of how the story is told that they uh, that they're hearing and right. receive and yeah. you know, translate that to themselves and, and so forth but uh, it's uh, pretty fascinating to uh, see these uh, how, how the story is told if you if you see What's going? On, why the story is being told like it is, and uh, you kind of get a, a better idea. Well, not only why. about how it's being done, but the the energy sources used to deliver it on. Yeah. See, it goes so deep that Johnny Average gets bored and goes, "Ah, I'm going to go play some games." There you go. It's too much. There's too much to know. So it's a whole lot easier to not know anything. And half yeah, the shit you know what we I think go we do know is bullshit. This, uh, I almost turned this off. Uh-oh. And I saw, let me go over here to a window to find this um, yeah. tube thing here. So it's, uh, yeah, I think you'd like it, maybe. Hmm. Since I can get to it. But anyway, so it'll take okay. me. All right, you're slower than Snot, so yeah, we're, we're oh, wait. waiting. Whoa, what happened? That just... I have no idea. Oh, my. Uh, let's see. I was just sitting here minding my own business. Next thing I know, I'm on the radio talking to you. And there you are. Yeah, here we are. I'm still disappointed in this whole, this outer, the outer shell of this decayed cookie is just ridiculous. But it has a never-ending supply of usable tools to keep it working. Oh, I've uh, popped over here at, uh, I'd open the real Liberty media, uh, homepage there and there's art, uh, with his and not popped over another deal, but that's it. I'm going to listen to him. I didn't listen to him Sunday and I got to catch up with how to, but I'll still be listening. Like, uh, in, uh, the background, come here, I'm trying to open this. Yeah. There's, I mean, at some point, it just, uh, for me anyways, it's, uh, becomes like kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe burdensome even in a sense. And, what, the and real then, world? But then almost purposely, you know, to be, uh, uh, having been standing and, and, uh, re reporting and reporting. Oh, oh, uh, oh, so, you want to, yeah, okay, so you want to yeah, break so, from your, your travel. Sure. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're like Led but, Zeppelin, just in your I drawer, left, and you want to break. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Uh, uh, you know, the Ponder Gander. I've left off at the the followers, and uh, I, at the I really hit a, a hard impasse there, um, in the considerations of uh, where I was at in the in the broad aspect of uh, trying to uh, uh, relate. Uh, uh, what is it? Is what doctrinal uh, research uh, publication? Anyways, to to do, I forget what it's called. Sorry, but anyways, that and all the people that I I've met uh, and uh, from uh, 2014 and then during the the trial there in Vegas, uh, calling them uh, followers, uh, and I, I do want to talk about uh, a lot of those people that that I was able to meet. A lot of wonderful people. Some people are uh, demonized by uh, uh, this these factions and stuff. So there's a lot of names. Um, I'm almost there. Where are you? I don't know. I'm I'm still in Denmark. Where are you? Well, hold on. I'm still looking for it. You don't. Oh, you're you're searching the interwebs. I will give you a dork update. The dorks are waiting. Yeah, Welcome to the dork side. Don't try to separate us from nature. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, because if you try mm -hmm. that, we will resist you with all our power. We got dork hey. power. What? Dork hey, I'm power. stalling for you with dork Thanks. stories. I'm hoping we to make sure this is the right one. Yeah, it, you know what time it is. It's in a perfect world time, and I'm Flash, and you're not. Flash. I'm herding white people. Get, come on, whitey, get in line, boy. What's wrong with you, son? You know, herding white people is not easy. Whew. Really? You guys, you guys make cats look easy. But in a perfect oh, this world, is it. this is it. Oh, he found what he was looking for. Am I done stalling for you now? Yeah, it is uh, on the moisture not, meter. No, you just hit a few more, eight. few more seconds. Okay, one, so, two, three. The separation of Dork it and State is four twenty somewhere. Listen, you vegetable. I'm talking to you. <laughs> wow, what are you, carrot boy or something? Vinny, Vinny, I'm what? losing you, Vinny. Here I am. I don't. Thank you. You've been looking for this damn thing. I've been stalling with every there dumbass word right I could there. think of. It's uh, ah, the, the age, age of shadows. shadows. There, new there's a, it's a really interesting uh, oh. aspect about the uh, the uh, the long awaited revolution. You know, to there ain't gonna be no free man. Get over no. yourself. <laughs> but uh, I almost quit watching. It looked really <laughs> corny, and uh, uh, yeah. some parts of it are, but. It, uh, there's a there's a background story that I'm gonna go back and watch it again. This uh, that could be told in in three paragraphs probably. Mm. Well, when you're in train wreck Arkansas, I guess this would look like entertainment. Isn't that where you live, train wreck Arkansas? No, the no nope. tore the, nope. the tracks up a long long time ago. <laughs> yeah, back during the war. <laughs> So, are you expecting another civil war there, Mr. Vincenzo? Is that why you're going to get off the interwebs and hide out in the woods? No. No, I'm going to go into a, a study mode. I, I'm going to have to check Production. the Ladbrokes. Production. There's a, there's a gambling house in England that has odds on everything. I'm going to check the odds for a civil war in the United States with Ladbrokes and see what the odds are. Maybe make them better, too. You want me to put anything down for you on America? <laughs> uh, they got a they have, quid. They've got odds on Trump's goddamn, uh, what do you call it, his time in office. And what's the How bet? long he's going to last. It depends on, that's the point. There's different things to bet on. It's called Ladbrokes. It's a betting site. Are you a compulsive gambler? <laughs> No, I like to read what other people gamble on, though. Yeah. I'll tell you that. I that's think. more interest. Sometimes that's more interesting to me than actually gambling. I I open up Ladbrokes to see what what are people betting on right now. 
And when I saw Trump's, uh, when it came up for Trump, there was a whole page on shit you can bet on on Donald Trump. And it's illegal in America to do that, so you got to go to England to do it. Or use a different IP. That I don't think you can actually buy it. You can't probably buy anything online from them because you're in America. What, did I mute you again? Did I kill Vinny? Uh-oh. Well, <coughs> no, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <clears throat> Vincenzo has left the building temporarily. Am I, am I back? Yeah, you're back. I was just practicing oh. my, my good voice. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to In a Perfect World with your host, me. <laughs> Hello. I was stalling. Hey, yeah. I wonder... Uh, yeah. Man, could what that be so simple? What? Mm, that my mixer. I wonder if I could go in individually RCA cable uh, into the uh, eighth inch. And Cowboy Tech told me that. I have no idea it's, what you're talking about. Uh, oh, I got a, a real nice mic and all this that I've never used. I've had for so many. Oh. Yeah, I just it just came to my mind because I was thinking about it the other day, mm. rethinking about it. Damn, you had two ideas in one night. Are you tired? Do you need a glass yes. of water? I, Would you like I had to sit a, down? <laughs> I'm sitting down. <laughs> I had an epiphany. Ah, uh, not one of those. Yeah. Uh, an epiphany. Hey, there was the, an epiphany on the RLM the other morning. You missed all the fun. Really? Oh man, we we get we got a new guy. <laughs> he was schooling me and Cowboy about the ignorance of our liberal ways, <laughs> and we were having fun too. It was funny. I don't know. I guess this guy, I he was having fun back because he was calling us everything but white boys. Oh, hey, what is lost Chloe my, doing? I don't know. Because Grimner wrote up there earlier that moon, moon is plural for. <laughs> oh, wow. Bless you. Moon. Thank you. Bless you. Moon. I don't know. He wrote it. Let me scroll back up. and look. Moon, mooning? I don't know. No, it goes way back. Not way back, but it goes back ways. Something about moon, moon. I remember reading it, but didn't really want to remember it. Now I'm looking for it. Oh, Lord, my life has come to a halt. I'm <laughs> searching the RLM for a crazy idea. Well, somebody fired up a bubbler. Anyway, are we in a perfect world, Vincent? What uh, if I told you this? All right, wait, wait, wait. wait. Here, I can't find the thing I was looking for. I'm too high now. But, oh, how much moon could a moon, moon, moon if a moon, moon could moon, moon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he typed that. I barely got around <laughs> saying it. Okay, anyway. Uh, it, I'm in a perfect world. Or I I would assume you, sir, also <laughs> reside in what I would call a perfect world. A pretty nice you, place to be. Okay. Well, beside the place to be, I'm talking about actually the state of mind that I see you in in that place that you say you are. Then what? I don't know. Then I judge you and make fun of what I think about it. Nothing. We we go forward. You know, it's real life. We're just me and you, just gabbing about the way you look at something, the way I look at something, and uh, but we're we got a friendship beyond all the uh, what the differences of opinion, but the lifestyles are the same. You know? Yeah, we got a common link, and mm -hmm. and I think that the main thing to it really comes down to the lack of uh, addiction to authority. Period. Nothing uh, more than that. Simple. I I think it's because I I could outcuss you any day of the week. Oh yeah, if you wanted to, you probably uh -huh. talk faster too. <laughs> but still, uh, I think that you you've in a perfect world would be to live how we live. With the way that we think, because it it doesn't give you much to do except enjoy shit. I gotta look for things to be pissed off about. 
should you uh should you force freedom upon somebody e- even if uh um even if it's good for them and but they don't want it how could you possibly force a freedom on somebody what exactly then you're turning it around and and you're you're really taking it away that's the uh, f- that that movie i just posted up there that's kind of the uh the uh end the moral of the story yeah well the three paragraphs that's uh, okay that's that's paragraph but when you free a slave in the first place you have a problem that you didn't have before you freed the slave what if you want to be a slave but they don't really understand what that means the way it really works it's it's disguised as something different that you know if you're me and cirque are um a team okay so i can take on her problems if i want to i don't have to it's a choice i make so if you're not teamed up with somebody and you're by yourself then everything that you do is up to you and you don't have to negotiate with your partner about it so i would say the person that's alone without obligation is free how do you force it forcing that on somebody would be taken away their whatever imprisoned them well how do you do that you know these walls are invisible Vinny. you can't see them you, you can't they're, they're there but you got to know how to how to recognize them it's not everybody's not going to see this the same way no That's matter exactly right Those but it is fighters but it is the same exactly way right okay but still the same to me, anyway, maybe not. Well, to you, we, hey, what are we doing? Oh, we're in a perfect world tonight. We we're agreeing on his goodbye show. Goodbye. Really? Where are you going? Yeah. Ah, I'm just gonna go study and uh, do some other stuff and compiling and got a lot of stuff to do. And uh, uh, yeah, you've been plus, nipping uh, around and kind plus of- I'm gonna uh, have some entertainment value that uh, also has something underlying stuff in it wow you you lived up to your your explanation of yourself last time you just talked for five minutes didn't say anything perfect wow you bullshit artist mother yeah what am i going to do without you so now do i replace you on sure. this here in a perfect yeah. world in a perfect mm-hmm. but see in a perfect world i wouldn't need to replace you i just continue on my own that okay. would be my perfect world, but I already do that on the dork table. So you could like wanna... do an imitation of my voice, and you could like play both parts. No, that would be insane. No, <laughs> that... no, 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 no. I'm, we're we're not. I'd listen line... to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably get pulled off the air for it. <laughs> it have to be breaking some kind of law somewhere. <laughs> But the cussing and I, I don't know. I think the ideas that I live by are enough to shut most people to shut the show off in the first place. Yeah. Because, yeah, so few people think the way I think in, in the in the beginning. And it doesn't leave me a lot of hope. And I'm not look, looking to lead anyone or anybody else. I'm just telling you, this is where I got to. And I wasn't even trying. I just did shit. And wow. What a trip. See? You might you might look at it like this way that you're shooting yourself in the foot if you're in a race. Now if it's you know like a foot race or even like in NASCAR or something, and so if you shoot yourself in the foot and you have clown shoes on, you're probably in one of those you know where they race around in circles and all that. So you can get that. You you can turn see that shot in the foot into the uh, the attention. Uh, for for me the the humor part. Uh, my uh, my attempts at some humor was uh, uh, I I swear I got my trail name on uh, the Appalachian Trail too far. Said so fellow said I went too far, and then uh, sometime later I saw a lesson from Ellen DeGeneres, and she says uh, how she makes herself the uh, the butt of the joke. So if you make uh, insult to somebody in any other senses, then uh, you lose them there, or you maybe. Uh, uh, and another way of doing it is to uh, to pull it out in, uh, as an example to demonstrate. Well, Grimner says, I just have to say that it seems that living 
in a perfect world doesn't last very long. <laughs> 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 well, no, 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 no. It's actually, when you think about it, who would, who would this happen to that it couldn't be uh, any easier? You know, because I, I, I don't mind. I'll just find somebody else to give me a, a, a hand with it. But I'm not going to do it alone. No, no, no. Two two solo shows in it. Nah, that's too much. I will find another partner. But, boy, I leave a wake of dead bodies behind me. Jeez. Yeah, I, have, I feel uh, like John Wayne Gacy all of a sudden. Want to see a trick? You ever been handcuffed, boy? <laughs> Come here, son. <laughs> I, have, uh, I have more more work to finish too with the ponder gander series um, yeah you gonna paint any more clowns or are you done with that uh i like john clowns. wayne gacy <laughs> killer clown hey, i'm the uh i'm the scaramouche are you Capitani, i'm not even sure what that means but capitani zani yeah you've heard uh, the uh bohemian rhapsody right once or twice do yeah. you fan tango Scared yeah, up, but you up. know what? See, you know what? What irritates me about people is they don't they don't even know that Freddie Mercury was from Persia. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah, Freddie seems Mercury like I, re from I remember. From, well, I might have told you like four times, but Man, there's still, still besides the people that listen to the crazy dork table shit. There's like twenty people in America that know that Freddie Prince, Freddie Prince, Freddie Mercury was born in Persia, not Iran. And how many, oh, well, Persia. Born, I bet you the better question is, is how many people would know that Iran is uh, now, uh, is the modern name for Persia. That's the point. Yeah. That was the whole point of me bringing that's, up and butchering that story. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, because, well, that's what I mean. All this knowledge we think we have is, boy, what we know is a bunch of crap. Doesn't fucking matter one way or the other. But, Tell somebody that the electricity needs to be adjusted, and they'll think that your your tilt button's out. <laughs> I know you tilted, but I can't prove it. But I just heard you do it. <laughs> Did you run with scissors as a child? Fuck yeah. Why? Oh, I just went. Mm. Are you calling me names? <laughs> no. Are you accusing me of being I, a little bit slow? I'm just pondering here. <laughs> Are you calling me slow? Did, why did you run with scissors? Did, was it because you, you were told not to? or Cause the you chicken feel the urgency? Because the chicken wanted to cross the road, and I wanted to help the chicken get there. And I thought scissors might be a little bit of a help. You know why the chicken crossed the road in East Texas? Yeah, because you didn't want your foot up its ass. No, to show the armadillo that it could be done. <laughs> the arm, yeah, squash. <laughs> Boy, I thought till it, man, I saw roadkill, and I thought squash was roadkill. I didn't know there was a vegetable called squash. <laughs> anyway, there's a yeah, there's a, in Denmark here. There's a vegetable. It's called squash, just like in America, but it's <laughs> not squashed. It's it's round. I thought uh, there's it would be like lots flat. of. There's a lot of different types of uh, squash. But in a perfect world, my squash would be flat. You know, things would be different if the world was perfect. I'm telling you. Because this mess that we're living in right now, wow, what a, it's a, like a lunatic asylum. It's fun. No, it isn't. It's not? You're not having fun? Mm -hmm. No, there's a lot of things I would yeah. not call fun. And they don't happen to me, but I read about them happening to others. And the, you know, that part of me that's like doesn't want the other guy to get destroyed for no particular reason gets pissed off. I go, wow. Why would, why do I care? It ain't happening to me. But I do. That was a dark announcement, just in case you cared. That was a start, I guess. Did you know you don't got to give a shit about any fucking buddy but yourself? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Nobody. I'm Nobody? telling you, Vinny, wait until you find out. <laughs> the, when it when you find this out, man, you, your life will change. <laughs> You're not obligated by law or nature to care about anybody but your damn self. Did you know that? 
it's good to care for other folks as well. Did you know that it's gooder to care about your damn self first and foremost? Did you know that? Well, you have to uh, certainly take care of yourself, right? Well, it's my opinion that if I'm shitty to myself, then what am I going to be to my wife or my dog or my neighbor? You know, <laughs> it's all going to be, you know, whatever I put out, there's what they get. Ah! They don't like that. And there you have it. People don't like me when I get angry. <laughs> Vincent, do people like you when you get angry? I'd say not. Ah, do you remember the last time you seriously got angry? Mm, I really don't Just get Just a simple angry. yes or no. Okay, uh, so yeah, you, you curb that mon mm, monster, huh? Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a long you time know what now. I'm... Well, do you know everybody's got that in them? Every fucking buddy, right? Frustrated, more, more apt word, I'd say. Okay, well, the word, what I was leaning to is that tipping point of I've had enough and I'm going to act like a crazy thing and get violent. We've all got, got that tipping point. But what I didn't know about me was I was in control of when I released it and when I didn't. That took a lot of years. I kept thinking it was other people doing something to me when it was me getting pissed off because I'd had enough of what they did. And if the other guy didn't want to stop, well, he had to be stopped. That's that's how I was you know, raised. And it, it took me a few years to go, wait a minute, that was a bad idea, Pop. What were you thinking? <laughs> Some people are better off ignored and walked away from <laughs> You know, it works out better for everybody involved. Absolutely. Well, there you go. But if you're an armchair quarterback and, you, and you've never had the luxury of being mistaken for somebody else by the long arm of the law, giant law has got a place for you. It's coming. But I get mocked by certain people on the RLM that I'm not going to name Hansel. And uh, <coughs> I just wish for you everything you wish for everybody else including what you wish for me for you because that's what i do <laughs> if that was all there was to life in a perfect world is just for me to hold that thought is i just want you to have everything i got then that would be great but i can't do it for long i think i can do it for like nine, nineteen, twenty seconds and then i forget that's bummer. Well, I'm a very selfish person. I got a lot of needs. That's uh, that's one no of comment, the techniques. No comment, no crack. Yeah, no. that's one, one technique of making biscuits. Needs. So you're talking back to the biscuits, right? Needs. Oh, you're need, talking need. in the metaphor. Oh, okay. Let me go get my Jose suit on so I can argue with you, white boy. <laughs> you can't. Hey. I can't. Mm -mm. You ain't gonna argue with me today, you Vincent. Can't argue. You can't argue. Well, how? What? We even? Where would you even attempt an argument with me? Let me ask uh, you that question. Well, I don't know. We there you kind go. of think too much alike in the long run. Awesome. God damn it! Yeah. But argue. you're a little. I don't know. You're a little pushier than I am, and I've been told I'm pretty pushy. But you push harder than I push. Like really? in a tug of war, yeah, you would win the tug of war. You are the more fighter than the me. Yeah, you know what I like to do a tug no. of war. It's like let, let go. go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, but that's not. Yeah, that's not uh, quitter. I ain't quit. I just reposition. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, see, now you're using the legal jargon way to get out of a, you know, uh, an actual confrontation. Is the the legal way out is usually misrepresent, misdirect, or just boldface fucking lie. And if you let go in a tug of war, you're out of it. You've let go. So you're not in it anymore, win or lose. Yeah, you okay. cheater. So I got, you, uh, let go. you know what? You know what I think people lack in this world today, right now, is a, a sense of honor of their word. 
however fucked up my ability to use English may be, if I say something, there you go. You know, if I didn't, if I didn't do it, I don't say it. If I don't think I can do it, I avoid it. <laughs> you know, there's some things I'm not capable of. Don't interest me. Yeah, there's there's things outside my scope. But they're funny as hell. I've I have missed so much opportunity to mock the the uh, the outside weirdos of society on the dork table in here, because eh, you know it's it's fun for a minute, but it gets it gets you later on to to live like that, and how to express that on the radio to um, you know the people that like what we do, they already know for the most of them I think. We're not teaching anybody shit. We're just gathering and having a giggle, maybe telling them something new, like you're going to back off the internet for a bit. That's going to be a shock because we're used to seeing you. you gone four days and it was like, hey, where the hell's Vinny been? I figured you were off in jail or found a girl. <laughs> or... No. Yeah, I did. No, it's jailed for me. Yeah, but that was where my mind went, you know, because I've been seeing you every day and no, no warning, just <laughs> gone. Mm -hmm. So you did a me. Yeah, you know, flash. And I would I would tell people though, you know, if if you're that fucking concerned about where I'm at, you'd have my phone number to call me and see where I'm at. You know, other than that, don't don't worry about me. <laughs> did you drop? Oh, that. I think you muted there for a second. Yeah, I did. I had to cough. I was choking oh. on my marijuana cigarette, so I had to take a break. <laughs> That's, anyway, that's the God weed, the good weed. Well, we live in a perfect world, I believe. I really do that, but we don't. The, we don't live. Yeah, in a perfect no, 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 world. no. Wait, wait. Let me let me finish the the okay. whole. Okay, the perfect world in the sense of if if you're alive through all this crap that they're doing to us, all this experimentation and abuse and systems and games and crap that they're they're pulling and and convincing the the populations that it's for their best and you're you're saying more people are starting to notice that's a bunch of horse shit well what took them so long and where are they you know man what's gonna what's gonna we're change the, we're the victims of a masterful war that's been waged against no. us for centuries millennia okay and I still, I'm a willing participant in it, so I'm not a victim of it. I'm aware of the fuck I'm doing. I got into this with Cirque on purpose. I didn't avoid anything. I jumped right the fuck in. I'm just not emotionally tied to all the concepts that go along with the way the modern mind is supposed to accept what he's supposed to accept. Like the home ownership. Yeah, right. You want tax money. Fuck you. I don't own anything. This is rent. Renting it, period. Never be anything else. And then you find people that have researched law and they've gone through all this and gone through all that. Well, unless you file your own paperwork and you're really fucking smart in a admiralty court, that's not going to do me any good. And for what purpose would you find yourself within admiralty court? That if I was of the state of mind that I believed all oh, the state and, da -da -da -da, and this is mine and I'm going to stand and protect it and die for it and all this horse shit, I'd be more emotionally attached to the stuff than I am because it's just stuff, you know, outside of Cirque and the dog and the cat. Well, because cat comes and goes a lot. He's kind of hard. to. He's not dependable. He'll come up missing for weeks at a time off in one of his cast cats garades when he's out there boinking the other cats and shit, getting in scraps with the other males. He's come back beat up twice. You back yet? Yeah. Mm. Am I here? Yeah, hey, I thought you were gone. Uh, so I had I was... my glasses off. Drimder called uh, me John see, Wayne. You couldn't hear. Pilgrim. I hear she. <coughs> mm. Cough, cough. I'm looking at a Cough. piece of land over here, about three acres. Where? Uh, Where? Right down the road. Not even a far piece. Really? What kind of deal are they looking to give you? Uh, um, it's a few thousand uh, the Federal Reserve notes. Mm. But I don't know if, uh, if I want to 
commit at this time because I have uh, plans for future travel. Oh, so, yeah. Not sure, but well, I want to uh, tie down at this point in time. See the difference between you and me? I don't make plans. I just do shit. Mm-hmm. Ain't that right, honey? As long as my wife says, I can do it. I can. You can do it. <laughs> as long as I... See, you get married and all of a sudden, eh, you got to go, hey, I want to go to Poland for a week. What? <laughs> Never mind. Well, you Never just let it take the wind out of my sails. <laughs> I got all kinds of sweet flowers here. Well, I, I turned Missouri into Poland. You just weren't listening. Now I'm insulted because you didn't catch my fun, joke. Fun place. To my eat. joke zoomed right by you, you pain in the balls, you. You vegetable. Pretty little balls have flowers right here. Ooh, yeah. I forget yeah. the name of that. I don't know what you're talking about because I can't see it. So. Cannabis. Oh, that. It's pretty. That, that's it. Oh, yeah, all these special little names and strains. Yeah. All that millions. shit's a lot of fun. Yeah, but millions. When of... you, yeah, but when you take it to the masses, you got problems. All this legalizing the weed's going to fuck it all up for everybody in the end. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's just encouraging a, a stronger black market because Monsanto wants to synthesize this shit. Oi, we're getting screwed again. <laughs> and it's, I don't, get how they figure if they make an oil according to one of the doctors i do follow uh oil does not destroy a cancer cell it fuels it any kind of oil except for this one blah 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 particular oil and that leads me to well if they're not only using the wrong one but they're using a synthetic then Everything that they tell you about how good the product is 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 defeated, but like uh, fluoride in the water for your teeth, you don't get the truth from these people, so you don't really know what you're being told, and you do it, and there you go. It doesn't work like always. Do you know they have uh, this uh, fluoride treated uh, drinks for infants for? But wait a minute, they don't even have teeth though. That well, that's it goes through. Mm. It goes to your third eye. It does, it's besides yeah. your teeth. Yeah. No, I mean to to think that you'd give a, a baby without teeth fluoride. Would, I mean, even if fluoride was supposed to be. Uh, right. Be what would the point of it be? And that's what I mean. We don't know what the shit is. They just tell you it's good for you, and they put it in everything, and then you find out it's a poison. That stuff they put it in everything. Ooh, it'll eat right through <sighs> stuff. Well. Yeah, well, but the government wouldn't do that to us, Vinny. You know that, right? Listen, if uh, if you was having this biscuit, right, mm. and the recipe called for just a little bit of doggy poo poo, I mean, just a small. <laughs> no, 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 no. Passola. You didn't even. No, taste no, no don't care. Didn't even just oh. the fucking thought of it. No, thank you, sir. Well, that, pass. That's that's the biscuit that's being. Uh, eight, I know, uh, I know, oh, and they're so. just this little bit of shit, and yeah, no, I'll pass. So, what I mean, where is the ability to look at this horrid crap that we live in and reject it? Why is that? the We're the enemy when we do that, not, I mean, crying out loud. It's all backwards, Vinny. It is. They su They support the fucking emperor that's got no clothes on. And they still laugh at the guy going, hey, this guy's got no clothes on. So it's still the same old game, different day. I'm wearing clothes. It's cold. We've got our uh, first, uh, you, fall temperatures. Yeah, yeah. Wow. In a perfect world, you're dressed. Wow, what a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Yep, because by God and country, you ain't going to do the radio naked when I'm on it. By get that went, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop, coughed right into you there, boy. Thank you. Thank you kindly. That well, was this, just uh, for you. I this know it's another show. And this bud's for you. Mm. Well, let it be known out there in RLM. Maybe I'll replace you with Mr. Rob Works for at least a temporary. Maybe he'll 
back me up for a while. And we'll just, hey, that'll be the theme of the show in a perfect world. I never have a com- uh, constant partner <laughs> on the radio. I'm always with, hey, who's who's going to be on there this time? <laughs> never mind. Hey, hey I'm trying to make trying to make an omelet here. It, you broke all the eggs. You you should be making biscuits. I'm telling you. Nah, tell me what to make, you big bully. You're not the boss of me. It's, you're leaving anyway. Uh, rubber so, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna go off and think, and I'm gonna have to sit here and talk with somebody else. You dirty tramp. <laughs> you old whore. Now we're wait. We come up to the time where you start telling everybody what's going on on the what's real going on what's yeah say your goodbyes sing it? with a can we no, sing no don't sing it you uh-huh. just tell them what's coming on okay well uh tomorrow night is grammy at six o'clock in the lens of kansas and friday the freaker friday at same time same bat channel grammy well, you forgot off. music on tuesday and thursday oh yeah we'll have to do uh Unless the guy didn't show, do it. Show I've seen art. him on Sunday. Yeah. Art. Yeah, yeah let's type in. Underground. Uh, exclamation. Uh, I don't know. That's your Art job. Underground. Yeah, let's do yeah, art. I don't type in anything. I can't type. Everybody knows. Okay, well, that's the straight talk. That's the Sunday show, Fallen Hal Anthony uh, Sundays. Grimder kicks yeah, he did that. Some blues. Yeah, he, uh-huh. he did that Sunday. Yeah, and you're dorking on Saturday. That's yes. A, a one o'clock uh, Eastern, right? Or, Follow the dork road to or is that, uh Yeah, right? Or 12 o'clock Eastern, Saturday. Uh, crying out loud. Flash. I do it at oh, six, six okay. my time, so I think it's noon so, Eastern. Yeah, that'd be because, right. Noon Eastern. Yeah, cause, yeah that'd be 11 my time. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mary time. At, Mary time and, and Vinny time. The Freakers Ball, y'all, is on Friday night. Hey, the Freakers That's at ball. 10 Central, 9 to midnight in the, the land of Grimm in New Mexico. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Grimner. Uh, Rock and <laughs> <PK. laughs> That's right. Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 to midnight Eastern time. Uh, Hal Anthony, uh, he's uh, coming along after Grimner's uh, blowing some blues and that starts at uh, uh, 11 o'clock, my time, noon, and then uh, noon Eastern. And 3 o'clock Eastern is uh, Hal Anthony behind the woodshed. And then right behind him is uh, the brand new Straight Talk 101 with Art Underground. And then back around to uh, Flash and Somebody next Tuesday. Yeah, that'll be different. We'll have to figure it out as we go. The great void in the future. I mean, yeah. damn, it's just a radio show. But two two solos in a week would be too much. I'm not I'm not even that talkative. Maybe a little bit, but not nah. <laughs> and you're oh. gonna go off into the void. Yeah, I'm just gonna take some time off. Do uh, well, some things that I, I haven't got done yet. Yeah. I'm going to get leave my eraser off, out. Uh, I'm going to leave, uh, leave off commentary and um, co- uh, content so I can, when I do come back, I'm going to bring, uh, you know, good, meaningful content that, uh, will, you know, is more of a, uh, a shareable and a, a simulating uh, experience, perhaps. Well, should we do like a Vinny counter day thing where we count the days between your, you know, so we'll know how long you've been a, been missing for. Sure. Yeah, we could have like a con. Maybe we could sell squares. <laughs> squares. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then we could give the proceeds to to Mister Grimm so he can go to Tahiti. Hundred dollars a square. There you go. Uh, this has got potential. I that'd see probably, that. That'd probably be illegal. We'd be breaking eight billion laws, but it's still fun. I like to I like to make giggles about raising grim money on the real liberty media dot com. Yeah, we should uh we should be doing uh, some uh, campaigns too. But you should have gone off about talking about you the uh, shop on Amazon link. Yeah, but you should have gone off the air doing a telethon, you know, like doing twenty four straight hours of Vinny in 
all by himself. <laughs> Everything that you think you know. <laughs> well, what do you know about that? Uh, I say see you next week, whoever you are. And thanks a lot, Vinny, for helping me out with this project. Right, right. And, I, I appreciate uh, it. And, uh, somebody no, will I'm come. Not, I'm not disappearing. At, uh, I'm just no, uh, no. stepping off the uh, activity. Okay. And with that, we're over and...